Gemini, good morning. How are you doing? Um, so I'm going to do a load of these cards, and then we're going to do my uh, my deck. Then we're going to clarify them with those, and then we're going to clarify those with the right away. Okay, so we're doing it the other way around, basically. So for Gemini, any messages for Gemini? For Gemini, please like, share, and subscribe, guys. So Queen of Pentacles, loving relationship, loving you, loving you. Is easy cause you're beautiful. Someone thinks that you're beautiful, Gemini, or you think that your person is beautiful, really attractive, good looking. Somebody, the feminine energy here wants to settle down, picking up on a lot of placements of Virgo, um, but wants to settle down, wants to be happy. If not, it's just a knot. There's a Piscean energy here, not swinging upon a tree. Um, but I'm happy as I am with the person that I am. Okay, settled, settling down. Somebody wants someone to settle down and settle in. Like, I want you to move in or something like that or make a move. Someone could be moving, moving house or moving home or somebody wants to. I'm also hearing a lot of renovations around the home as well. Like if you're living at home and you own your own space, I'm picking up that there's a lot of renovations about to be done. Okay, like we're having something done around the house, um, like garden or, or something like that. Um, let's see, uh, Gemini. So, ooh, Dick Turpin, can you determine? So someone's feeling fruity, passionate, loving, spending a lot of time with their partner, doing a lot of things creative together, picking up like creative handwriting or writing something or drawing or something like that here um artistic i'm also hearing some of you might be autistic like have autism some of you are having an orgasm <laughs> or someone is a squirter let's see um gemini gemini um four of cups not really that interested though dickhead um i've got other options and other things kind of going on <laughs> Um, someone makes someone an offer, but they don't know whether to take it or not. This could be a life path for Scorpio energy here. Someone's happy and someone feels that the other person isn't happy. Like emotionally distant, shut off, closed off. Doesn't like pressure or force. Luke, Skywalker, Skylar, Tyler, Tanya. Um, what is going on, Gemini? Six of Wands, getting some attention from someone. Somebody might offer somebody something here, but they're already with someone. Like, the person that I'm going to offer to is already with somebody here. Sagittarius, Taurus, Life Path 5. Um, metaphysical and possible physical energy because I'm picking up like this is more physical and then there's like a metaphysical energy kind of coming through so let's see if these make um, any changes to the reading but you don't have to relate to these ones and just because it says Gemini and you have Gemini placement doesn't mean this is going to relate with you okay so let's see Queen of Pentacles for Gemini so we've got access to the Akashic Records. Some of you might be picking up on a lot of synchronicities, a lot of channeling, um, kind of that sort of stuff, anything that is esoteric. Um, Akashic Records is obviously, a lot of people know about them, but it's like the invisible library in the sky of information that I pick up from um, and whatever you do with it. But um, that was many years ago for me. Not interested in it anymore. <laughs> um but let's see, it's more feminine energies that do that. Um, but there's global Akashic Records, there's personal Akashic Records, and um, globally is picking up and channeling information globally um, on events and stuff like that. Um, let's see, what is the Ten of Cups? I'm just not interested in that anymore. It's just I've passed all of that sort of... Um, waking up sort of stages and you know, just fucking ADHD don't help <laughs> depression and bipolar and fucking 
Uh, sleep apnea. It's just uh, my memory is not like it used to be. But anyway, um, intentions are good. So somebody here that you date or that you're with could be into the esoteric arts and the intentions are good. Um, Piscean energy here. Open water sign. What is the Ace of Wands? The Gemini. Flirting. I think about you sexually. Okay. So is there a partnership and also like a a sexual partner or is it just a person that you're with you're like very intimate at this stage um what's this four of cups is hell loop so a capricorn or a gemini with four placements scorpio aries Going over the same old ground, like two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl. We'll have to clarify that one. Tell me more about the two of swords. Hell loop can be where I'm constantly trapped in a cycle of Michael or Melissa. Um, but uh, the connection will get stronger. Aquarius, Leo, six, Gemini, Capricorn. Maybe Libra. He's kind of like give it time kind of energy here give it some time and things will pick up again unless there's a third energy but if there is i don't think there's any like communication here what is the six of um six of wands i am not letting you go that easily i pick up that there's a couple here that are just kind of getting along their way and there's a metaphysical energy here as well like, I want your attention. I don't want you to leave. I don't want you to go. I want to work on this. Like, um, but a four is acting the way that they do, possibly paying attention to their own kind of thing. And the feminine is struggling slightly because the masculine is just kind of doing their own, you know, thing there. What's the temperance energy here for? Is I love talking to you. So, mm, I believe that there's someone that you're with and that you're talking to and that you enjoy doing so. I mean, if you both enjoy talking to one another, then it will be a person that you have great conversations with. It will more than likely be with a Life Path 5 Sag or Taurus here, person that's in your life, not like a dream or a metaphysical person. Um, let's see, what's the Queen of Pentacles? So yeah, working. This is also my tarot card reading, esoteric kind of stuff here. Uh, this is the Akashic Records here. It's kind of like working on building up something here, working on my channel, working on uh, anything that's also like creative or stuff that kind of comes to mind. Things that come to mind, I kind of express it in different ways. Um, intentions are good from a Scorpio Aries life path four, very stable commitment, grounded relationship. Watch the ace of wands is just wondering. It's also like sexual flirtatious energy here as well. Um, or waiting for that to kind of happen. Could be a Libra. What's the two of ones that has options and choices? Metaphysical sexual desire here. Maybe with someone that's already committed into something. Um, four of cups. Four of ones, twin flame, twat flame. Ace of pentacles. It's kind of like, well, I'm sitting pretty as I am, thanks, so I'm just kind of going to do me. Some of you might not live with the person that you're kind of with. You live at a distance and you decide to kind of go here and there. Is it to mine at night or yours? What's the two of swords? Fatigue and tiredness, Leo and Aquarian. This connection will get stronger if you're with a Leo, then it's strong and it's just, it's just kind of like this taking a... I don't, know, I don't think it's even taking a break. I think it's just like 
resting, needing some rest, needing some R&R. &R. Um, what uh, I am not going to let you go that easy from a Pisces or a third party, but I'm not really picking up on three energies. It's also someone that doesn't want to let go someone at work. If someone was thinking of leaving, they don't want this person to leave work. Someone could also be on annual leave of of um, mental health or pregnancy here. Um, temperance. Yeah. Someone that you're talking to, getting on well with. Constant communication. Leo, Aries or Sagittarius energy here. Sexual desire, flirtatious behavior. Partnership, really good if you're in a partnership. Okay. Some of you might be going through hell at home with the four of wands. Something to do with like an ex-husband or a wife maybe or a mother, someone that they or you live with or the name Livy or Lithuania, but live, but like someone at home. But it seems to be a good grounded, stable um a uh, lot of energy here, um, Gemini, for your week. So there you go, guys. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for joining and liking and sharing and subscribing and leaving a comment. And if you would also like more readings, then please help Steve grow his channel by joining the join button. Um, $4 per month and you get access to a lot more different readings per day. Because if I'm not on here, it's because I'm always doing readings on there. Okay? So that's the join button below. So thanks very much, guys. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.